it was ugly. It was a rough game. We struggled offensively, all that. But for you, it was a beautiful game because uh, at the end of the day, you get a victory and you're two and one in the conference. Let me tell you something. If we can take the rest of the season with these ugly victories, it'd be a beautiful year for us. So, um, you know, we should never have to apologize for a victory. Um, our kids worked extremely hard. They stayed together. They endured. Their team was ready to play. And uh, sadly, we were two points better than them. Did you learn anything about your team this past week? Uh, we've been learning uh, every week. And a couple of weeks ago, I told y'all, one thing I've learned about my guys is they don't quit. They'll fight hard. And, uh, you know, it was some bleak moments in that football game for us. And our guys kept fighting. And we had to fight on all three phases to get the victory. And so they continue to do so. Um, and we're continuing to, to grow and get better. And that's what we're trying to do, get a little better each week. And I think the people that are really watching us can see that. The, the way that you won the game, do you feel like that is a confidence boost in more ways than just if you had you had blown them out? You know, the fact that you guys can rally like that. I think so. I think I think uh, it was a real blessing the way we won the game. Uh, the fact that we won, um, and everybody had to be involved. We had to have um, uh, defense to stop them, uh, and then we take over offensively. And we're and after the first play, we're looking at a first and twenty. And that could be your last drive. That's a tough situation um, to look into. And we didn't hoist the ball downfield. We worked. Three took us three downs. We showed great patience to pick up the first down. And then we were able to exploit some things they were doing and got, got the big play. And then we had to put our defense back out there. And our defense did enough to make it a, a, a tough field goal for them. And uh, provided a good enough rush, that maybe that that conserved them a little bit. We were able to get the win. What, what's it like for you? You know, emotionally, you know, Jameson gets his first gets the start, and then he gets injured. Could you feel kind of how frustrated he is? You know, knowing that he's going to miss miss a few weeks. Well, yes. I mean, but it's football. You know, and when you're playing football, um, you just don't know. You got to treat every down as if it's your, your last down. And uh, uh, we don't know how long he's going to be out if, if he's going to be out, but we'll see. Uh, he'll get his treatment, and we'll see where we, he's at end of this week, and next week, and so forth. And we'll just go from there. How rewarding is it for you as a coach and your coaching staff to continue to see your guys continue to respond play after play, down after down, week after week, because we all know that you have so many young guys that haven't been able to play at this level? And to go through these games like this got to be huge. See, right now we're having growing pains. We're young. And anybody, all you got to do is look at our roster and see that this is a young football team. We were, we were a veteran laden team last year. We we're, uh, you know, a youth league team this year. And so uh, we're going to grow. Our guys are working. They believe in the plan. They believe in each other. They believe in us. We believe in them. And as we fight our way through these growing pains, you know, there are going to be some painful moments. But as long as we stay together and keep pushing for the same thing, we're going to be fine. And you know, in a year or so, um, this is going to be a special group to watch. What would it be like for you to, to get win number 100 for you uh, in your career? Um, yeah, that means I'm still employed. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would be great. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's more of a statement for the people that the good Lord has given me the opportunity to touch their lives and, and also they touch mine, whether it's the student athletes, whether it's the coaches, whether it's the administrators, presidents, um, the workers, the many, many, many workers here at Alabama and m University that help me to do whatever we're doing down here, that believe in what we're doing. And it's, you know, it's, just, it's bigger than Anthony Jones. It, it really is. And I realize that. And every day when I go out there uh, and go to work, I know I stand for just more than Anthony Jones. And so when we're able, we are able to go out there and, and achieve special milestones, uh, it's very rewarding for me. And also uh, to know that the people who are involved in it have a lot to say in it also.
You, you said it was evident that B. Wells provided a spark on Saturday night. After looking at the film, what, what kinds of things was he doing that changed? Decisions. The thing that I said to him after the game, and it was very simple. See what happens when you make good decisions. And he saw, he knew exactly what I was talking about. Okay? You can't call a play and then run something different. Okay? I mean, you can. You just ain't going to be successful. And so he saw that. And, you know, we didn't go into our, quote, bag of tricks. We saw what they were doing, and we coached them up from that. And we said, okay, they're doing this, do this. And that's what happened. He made the right decisions, and the guys around the offensive line, they responded. Everybody responded. And I'm going to tell you something that, that went really, really lost in this whole thing. Brandon Eldermeyer, on the, tuck, on the big play he threw to uh, G. Alonzo, Brandon had to take on one of their best pass rushes. And if you just watch him, he couldn't cut him. You just watch him on this play. And that little kid gave everything he could to keep him off of Brandon so he can make a good throw. And I mean, you can see the guy down there picking him up and he dropped his weight and dropped his anchor and got in there and held him off. And that was a great moment for me to see him fighting the, the way he was fighting. He just scored a touchdown. He could have just called it quits, but didn't. And, and that's what I'm being encouraged about, about this football team. They're continuing to fight. They're continuing to try to get better. And that's all you can ask for. Coach, you uh, have Mississippi, Mississippi Valley State this weekend. They're all in four. You went in last year at their own place, beat them 35 and nothing. You've won the last, let's say, five matchups between them. So you know they're going to come in with a chip on their shoulder. This is homecoming. So what do you do to get your players prepared, knowing that you're going to get a little bit of extra this weekend? Well, we're going to get ready. First of all, uh, you got them on Mississippi College. So. <laughs> No, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, we're going to get ready. Uh, we know they're going to come here uh, ready to play. We know we're going to they, – they had a week off, so they got two weeks to get ready for us. We're getting – we're putting our game plan in now. There's already in. Now, and they're working this week to perfect it, so they'll be well coached. Uh, they won't be the same football team that people seen the last four weeks. They'll have a little more motivation. They'll have a little more coaching. They'll have a little more rest. Um, they're going to be a tougher football team, and we got to get ready for that. You talked about, uh, I mean, a lot of the guys have talked about, you know, each week now is a playoff, kind of you all controlling your own destiny. Uh, this game is, is just as big as this past Saturday's, knowing that you all could be 3-1 and one within the league. Every game, you know, this is the great thing about being in the playoffs, okay? Every time you win, the next game becomes larger, becomes bigger. It means more. There's no exception here. We won Saturday. That's behind us. Now we got to get ready for a bigger contest. Uh, homecoming get a chance to go three and one in conference play. Uh, more importantly, get a chance to stay in control of where we want to be at the end of this day. So uh, this game means everything to us, um, to everyone involved. And like I said, you can't get fired up for these type of games. Uh, you need to be doing something else besides playing football. Does that do or die mentality, do you feel like that helped you last week? Is it something this team is thriving with? I think I think as these guys continue to grow, get a little more experience under them, uh, games like last week will continue to help us grow. So this, this week here will be no exception. It's going to be a good, I think we'll have another good close football game.